Hi folks, Rudy at Clodden Painting Studio here um, and today we are going to paint a British 95th rifle um, for the uh, Napoleonic Wars. Um, this is a Perry plastic miniature. Um, today we're going to largely use contrast paints um, from Citadel with a little bit of um, metallics and highlighting with acrylic paints at the end. 95th rifles are actually fairly straightforward um, to paint and um, we're going to start with um, their jacket and overalls in dark angels green. The dark angels green is drying. It's important to note a couple of areas of the jacket uh, to avoid. Those are the, the collar cuffs, uh, lace on the shoulder. Um, these should all be black, so I've got some black Templar lace cuffs and collar. You want to, if possible, leave a, a white border between um, the green and the black. Um, they do have piping sculpted on these Perry models, but we'll redefine that with some white paint later. Um, other areas uh, to be painted um, with Black Templar are um, the shackle, avoiding um, the plume, uh, the pack, cartridge box, boots, and sheath there. So I've swapped from my uh, size 2 brush to my size 0 and um, we're going to do some of the straps. Um, these are black, unlike the majority of uh, Napoleonic infantry which had white straps. So that is a bit more forgiving to paint. The straps running um, from the right shoulder down to the bread bag and the canteen are different colours, so we'll paint them later. Um, strap on the rifle is black as well. Um, around the waist, try and get my finger out of the way. Around the waist, the belt is black, along with the cartridge box but we've got the powder horn here as well, so we'll leave that as it is for the time being. So that's the straps painted in. And I'm going to go back to the plume um, with the Dark Angels green. Because I forgot to do that earlier. There's some gullum and flesh for the skin. Fairly self-explanatory. The bread bag is going to get painted with Skeleton Horde. The strap for the bread bag runs across the shoulder with the strap for the canteen on top of it. The canteen strap is brown leather so we can paint that over the top of the Skeleton Horde. But not the other way around so it's easier just to Do this lighter strap first. Hair and rifle wood we will paint with Gore Grunta fur. Canteens were a uh, blue grey. So I'm using Griff Charger Grey. We'll paint the great coat on top of the pack with Basilicanum Grey. With my size zero brush, we're going to paint the strap that runs around the edge of the canteen with snake bite leather. 
Remembering that this also comes across the shoulder on top of the canvas uh, strap that we painted with Skeleton Horde earlier. Putting the contrast paints down, we've got some metallics now. So we'll pick out the rifle barrel with some foundry gun metal. As well as the, the lock and the trigger. Uh, buttons uh, should be a white metal, so we will use our gun metal to pick them out in a silhouette. Uh, Vallejo Brass um, to pick out the insignia on the front of the shackle there. We also have this plate on the rifle. And the butt plate as well. And brass for the end of the sheath. So off camera I applied um, a bit of Harry Painter's Strong Tone to the metal work that we've just done there to provide a bit of shading. Um, we could call the model uh, done at that, but I think we'll, we'll go in and put in some highlights. We'll also redefine um, the white piping around the cuffs and collar um, and highlight the uh, bare uh, wraith bone that's been left on the straps on the, the pack. Um, begin with, I think the best things to, to highlight are um, the skin. People are going to be drawn to the face. So that's some Iron Painter Cobalt Flesh. And some Iron Painter Corpse Pale, just for dotting the tip of the nose. Cheekbones. For the uniform, I've got some Mario Painter Angel Green. Just a couple of select areas where we'd have the light hitting, such as the thighs, top of the arms, to find some of the folds around the elbow. To highlight the black, I have some London Grey. And this is Vallejo model colour off-white, helping to redefine those straps and the piping. And here's the finished model. Applied some geekgaming.co.uk Mediterranean soil. To the base and um, which i think looks really good for uh, fighting in uh, spain and portugal hopefully um, this video has been of use there'll be a list of paints um, in the description below um, on the subject of the 95th rifles i'm quite excited um, to see that war games atlantic's uh, plastic multi-part set of 95th rifles uh, will be with us um, in the next month or so. Um, I will be getting a set of them um, not only for uh, bulking out my uh, 95th rifles but also I have a couple of conversion ideas from some of the components in that set so once they arrive um, I'll try and make some videos on that. Uh, if you've got any comments about this one please leave them below. Bye for now.